It is 6.03. We have a closer look now at the conditions out on our local roadways. Yeah, I want to update that the closing and delay number across Rhode Island and southeast of Massachusetts now over 371. That's the schools in Rhode Island, Massachusetts businesses, parking vans as well. Alexander Leslie, live in Breaking News 1 this morning with more. Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm in Breaking News 1, and I'll show you the roads right now. We are in Providence on 95, heading towards Pawtucket right now. The roads, kind of a slushy mess. It's not the same picture that we were looking at yesterday morning. There's a lot more snow falling a lot more faster in these early hours. In Providence, though, I can tell you locally, the parking ban there went into effect after midnight. Runs until further notice. Providence Public Schools canceled today. Police told me that on local roads, they have uh, it's been quiet for them. They hadn't had any reports of any crashes. In the last hour, though, we were on 95 North in Providence, and we saw this. If you take a look at this video, a small white car had crashed into the Jersey barrier uh, right on the Providence line. We saw damage to the back and front end of that car. Now, while we can't say for sure that it was weather-related, weather also a good reminder to slow down this morning. Be aware that some roads may not have been treated yet, or if they are being treated, the snow is falling very fast, and it may be hard to keep up with at times. A state highway engineer, Joe Bucci with RIDOT, says the state's trucks are in good condition. He'd like to keep them that way, but that there have been accidents when other drivers hit them while they're out working. That's never a good thing, but again, that's why I, you hear me say every time I get interviewed, I tell people don't crowd the plow, and that's the reason why. Give us room to work. It'll keep you safe. It'll keep us safe, um, and it'll keep our trucks on the road. And if you're heading to the airport this morning, you're going to want to take it slow like we are right now. I checked in with the airport's Logan with a handful of uh, delays and cancellations to various cities. And locally, TF Green has cancellations to and from Orlando, Fort Lauderdale, and Newark this morning. Always best to check with your individual airline to see those updates uh, in terms of any cancellations for you this morning. Live from Breaking News 1, I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News. All right, let's check conditions now across the border in Massachusetts. Hey, the video you're looking at behind us is from Brockton. The plows have been out all night long, clearing away a lot of those parking lots, especially at those shopping plazas. I guess so Brandon Truett lost the coin toss this morning <laughs> with Alexander <laughs> Leslie. He is out in the elements in the Hattleboro this morning. Hi guys, good morning. Pretty steady snowfall and pretty steady traffic as well. We're starting to feel that commute pick up just a little bit. I want to take you in and just show you the conditions of the road where we're at here on Washington Street in Attleboro. A decent amount of traffic in this snow. Uh, what we thought might be an ice space from what we had over the weekend is now just pretty slushy. Of course, crews have been working here. We've seen them about every 15 to 20 minutes coming through here. The governor has expressed his concern over this. When this storm is hitting, he says his team is ready. Our transportation and public safety officials have been preparing all day to make sure that equipment and personnel are in place to ensure that the roads are clear and our public transportation system is operating at what we would describe as normal capacity. The state is calling this a long duration winter storm. It's packing what is expected to be um, some uh, decent amount of snow accumulation and strong wind gusts. There is a chance of isolated tree damage as well, so you're going to want to be mindful of that. The snow expected to build throughout the morning as we've been seeing it firsthand. Uh, MEMA is asking people to stay off the roads unless you absolutely have to travel. Crews have been working uh, through the night here laying salt and scraping highways and other busy roads. Some areas, though, uh, might need uh, a little bit more more help cleaning up. There's a report actually in the Sun Chronicle that shows a plow contractor shortage here in Attleboro. Officials are telling the Chronicle that it didn't impact them really this go around. The concern is more so for future storms, possibly bigger storms. Of course, we've been talking about all of the closings and delays, not just for schools, but for offices as well. That includes some government employees. Uh, Governor Baker actually um, doing a delayed start for non-emergency executive branch staff state employees. He's implementing that for him and his team there. Of course, you can see um, all of those updates uh, in the scroll down below as uh, we were mentioning hundreds of closings and delays. The wind picking up here, you can see the snow blowing laterally across the screen. Uh, this thing is not letting up, at least in the short term. We're live in Attleboro. Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News. And when we see changeable conditions like we have with this storm, it's a great source to get our Pinpoint Weather 12 app. Make sure you download that. Michelle's going to be back in in just a few minutes with your updated forecast.